This is an open and fairly rural campus in the sense that we have lots of natural woodland, grassland and different habitats that we can study and observe. It's really a natural laboratory that we use for research. We also use that for teaching. Many of us are, are based here um, almost full time. Some of us will share our time between this campus and the central London campuses, but also many of our students and particularly the master students who live on site, this is their home as well. Hi, I'm Lizzie. I'm a student at Silwood. Um, I've really enjoyed living here. It's a really, it's a really great place. So let me show you around. These are our chickens. Um, we take it in terms of feed them. We get to eat their eggs every now and then. We even get to chase them around, bring them inside to protect them from bird flu. And they're just good fun to hang out with. <laughs> So these are the allotments. Um, so we get to collect the eggs from the chickens. We also get to grow our vegetables here. People tend to pull together in groups to grow their own vegetables in, like, as a group of friends. It gets a little bit competitive. Some, some work a little bit better than others. But it's, I mean, it's really great fun. It adds a really good sense of community and we all get to, we all get to hang out in this great space. I'm actually here on a Europe project where I've been collecting plant samples and insect samples and running around Silver Park um, for about six weeks and it's just been amazing. I sit out here, this is where I do most of my work, um, which is great because it's outdoors and um, you just bump into so many lecturers and researchers and brilliant people that are doing amazing, cool things. I'm Will Pearce, I'm a senior lecturer here in the Department of Life Sciences and I study how species evolve and how we can use that information to conserve them in the present day. I love working here at Silwood Park because every day when I walk out of my office door it is beautiful. This is the refectory, the tree house where we eat, meet and relax. Uh, this is open at lunch times, uh, also for breakfasts and then in the evening there's a bar here as well. So this is one of the kind of key hubs and especially in the summertime we'll often open it up at the front here. We've got barbecues over there, you can see some people will gather uh, around so it's a nice sort of informal gathering um, spot and watering hole for staff and students to get together. This is the bar. It's not much, but it's ours. And it's the perfect place to come if you've had a long day or if you want to start off a long evening. And uh, we always have fun when we're here. This is the stage we've set up for Silfest, which is our annual music festival. It's just a really nice time when um, students get to get together, celebrate the end of the master's courses. We invite members of the public, lots of students from South Ken as well. We get bands to come in, we'll have a food truck, we'll, have, we'll run our own bar. It's just a nice way to enjoy the outdoor space that we get at Silwood and for everyone to celebrate together with the kind of sense of community that we've built up throughout the year. This is Nash's Cops. Um, this is where, so there's a long-term monitoring study of rodents going on here, um, where a few master students get to work um, on during their projects to collect data. So that data obviously helps to contribute to the long-term experiments, but it also means that master students can do their own little investigations. We all like talking about what interests us, and we all especially like building on each other's skills and helping each other out to, like, with our work. And so I think that's when I found that that's when you can sort of form those connections with people who you'll probably end up doing research with later on. 